Todd my year tens. Welcome to week uh, the end of week three. Uh, we're going to uh, just finalise, have the last couple of lessons uh, in our periodic table topic. Today's going to be hopefully a little bit of a fun one. There is two options really today for what you're going to uh, share with me. There's the introvert and the extrovert version, so you can pick which one you want to do. Again, it's just meant to be a little bit of fun and learn something as we go. So you're going to uh, learn about uh, why the periodic table is set up the way it is in terms of the periods and the groups. So just as a reminder, if you don't remember, the periods are the rows going across the uh, periodic table. Um, and there's you know only two in the uh, two elements in that top period, but as we go down, some are full up of all elements going across. So that's a period, and we're increasing the number of electrons as we go along. And then we've got which is the main thing which will give us the properties um, uh, in regards to using the periodic table, the properties of uh, the groups of elements, which is the group number. So periods are going across, and we have seven um, periods um, going across in those rows. And then we've got our groupings here. All right, so our groups go down in a column, and those groups are super important because that's where we get uh, our understanding of, hey, we can take, if we know uh, an element at the top of group, Two, which is the second column in on the right hand side. I should do it this way, shouldn't I? Second column in from the uh, your uh, left hand side if you've got a periodic table with you. The element my, at the top has very similar to properties at the element if you go down that uh, column have very similar properties to the third, the fourth, the fifth element in that column. So that's why we call, we have names for those uh, columns, which is like alkali metals, halogens, noble gases. And uh, if you have a look at the um, image that's at the top of this lesson, you'll actually see those names as well. In order to understand uh, the foundation of this, um, I've got you to do something a little bit fun, silly, awful, awful, but fun, hopefully. So what you're going to do is I'm going to get you to watch a a theory video first, and it's a little bit dry, it only goes for a couple of minutes, but that gives you a, an idea about what we're talking about in terms of periods and groups and what's occurring in terms of uh, the shells, the valence uh, shells, so shell one, shell two, shell three, where the electrons are placed, um, and also the outer shell, which is called the valence um, shell or the, with the specific number of the electron in it. So you will look at a bit of a dry video then, and then you're gonna get onto the actual activity for today, which is looking at a wonderfully silly uh, teacher doing a beautiful rendition of a uh, science song. Uh, it's an old um, uh, 1960s song if you've ever um, seen um, a, a Disney, these Disney movies, uh, you'll be able to kind of know where this comes from. So uh, he's doing this song and you watch that and then your objective is to find a way to uh, share with me, um, put it in uh, on the discussion page or even email it to me. It doesn't have to be on a due work, all right? This is not an official assessment task, but I'd like you to share that with each other. Be fun if you did share it with the group in your discussion, or if you don't really want to do that, you can just email me either way. Um, just a short clip, either a video of you doing this or an audio of you uh, singing along with him, not you singing by yourself, but you singing along with uh, the, this teacher, just the verse, just, sorry, just the chorus uh, of this song, okay? So it'll only go for probably 10, to, uh, 10 seconds or so. So uh, now what I would probably do being a bit of an introvert, well, if you're an extrovert, I want to see you in front of that camera, just singing your heart out as you watch that teacher um, have a go at that song, you know, go crazy, get your family involved, put a little bit of like, put a hat on, do silly, crazy stuff. That'd be great. Um, if you're a bit of an introvert like me, you might... Ladies, I'm in a video. <laughs> Sorry, they are my kids. It happens. Um, can you please... Um, uh, what I would do is I would get a sock. I'd put a sock on my hand and I would make that into a sock puppet and then I would move out of shot like that and then I would do sock puppet version 
along with that and I'd sing along with that as well all right the key thing is for you to learn that um, that chorus because it is a really nice quick summary of what I want you to learn today all right that's it so when you've done that um, kind of uh, very um, basic um, uh, instructional video at the start then have a look at this uh, very uh, wonderfully awful but fantastic uh, teacher doing a rendition of the periods and the groups in this silly song and all you then need to do is uh, email me or put on the discussion page a video or an audio um, of you uh, doing a rendition w along with that teacher just for the chorus. All right, I hope that uh, helps and uh, hope you have a bit of fun today.